What is good, Council of Comics? It's Thursday morning. We're going out to the Comic Con. That's right, the Council of Comics at Comic Con. We're waiting for Cliff to show up, and then uh, we're going to meet the rest of the boys, Paul, Anthony, and Franklin down there. We're just going to have a good time. This is my first Comic Con. Number one. Number one. So, we're going to see how it goes. Let's go. Good morning. We've risen before the sun to go to New York Comic Con. Because that's what normal folks do. I'm going to Comic Con! It's your first year Comic Con! Yes. Yes! Let's get it! Yeah. Shout out to Madness. Yeah. Rogue Nation 845. Bro. Man, man, the 
Okay, good. You're lined up with the lines. Line the lines up with my Your hand. Your face is in the middle. All right, we're here at Comic Con, NYCC 2022. It's packed. It's 10:15. It's Sam's first time. It's my first, and I don't understand why this thing's not moving. But we're here. We gotta find Franklin. Oh, wait, the camera's over here. We gotta find Franklin. We gotta find Paul. And Anthony's probably not even you know around. Oh, look over there. It's someone just like Princess Leia. Look at that. Over there. Behind the wall. I think it's like you do it again. It's New York Comic Con Thursday morning, and we're still waiting to get inside, even though it's after 10 o'clock. And with me is. Hi, I'm Lindley, aka Little Lucky, on Instagram. Very good. And so tell us a little bit about your outfit today. So I'm dressed as Princess Leia, her one of her Besmin outfits from Empire Strikes Back. Um, I love it. Thank you. It took about two months to make. Um, um, all of the trim is hand sewed. Um, it's one of my dream costumes since I was a kid. So I'm just very lucky to have been able to make it. That is so wonderful. <laughs> so what are you looking forward to today? Uh, looking forward mostly to seeing some friends, uh, hitting up Artist Alley, um, seeing all the vendors. Today is the comfy day. Yes, today as it is. Today is comfy and shopping day, and then the madness can. Today is our only day, so it's going to be comfy and shopping and asking people to answer questions for us. I love it. I love it. Wonderful. Anybody in particular, Artist Alley, look, you're looking forward to? Um, yes, my friend Erin. She is... Um, um, uh, my friend Erin is going to be there. Uh, she is an amazing artist. Her name is uh, Butternut uh, Ghosh. Butternut Ghosh. Yes. Okay. We will look on for Instagram. Her. her art is amazing. She does a lot of Star Wars, Marvel. Um, I am a big fan of the Shadow and Bone series, so she does a lot of that, and uh, she is just amazing. Wonderful. Well, thank you so much. Thank you. It Have nice a wonderful you. time. It was lovely meeting you too. And what was your name? Clifford, like the big red dog. I'm Lynn Lynn, nice to meet you. Lynn, right? Lindley, yeah. Lindley, Lin okay. Yeah. Like, shout out to the Council of Comics. Yeah, she's so sexy, scared so soft. Just one taste and I begin to get lost. The smell got me caught up. Can't tell if I'm asleep or awake. I'll do whatever it would take just to serenade my case. Just to show her that I got what it takes to replace. From her lips to her thighs, her hips to her eyes. She so fine, yeah. From her head to her toes, her soul to her mind. She so, so, so amazing. I've been praying for a woman like this all my life. I've been waiting to find the right girl that I could call my wife. Pero, este amor me tiene loco. My God, don't hold it against me. Yeah. Este amor me provoco. I hope for a job just to hold it against me. Yeah. She's got my heart on fire. She's become my only desire. With every kiss, I get higher and higher and higher and higher. Yeah. Sweet thing, let's go somewhere we can be alone And we can make up for all the fighting going on You're so sexy when you're mad, the best I ever had To lose you would be bad, so don't tease me love Just believe me love, in fact Este amor me tiene loco I pray my God don't hold it against me Este amor me provoco And I hope for a job just to hold it against me ¿Qué te paso? Dime algo Que te tienes llorando ¿Qué estás pasando? Te amo tanto Dime de tu alma Aquí en mis brazos This way you should be Nothing compares to thee It's a 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 I came as a substitute for my friend's girlfriend today, so I'm woefully unprepared and just randomly going by like, oh my god! Guys, well, stay safe and I hope you love the show. I do, I love everything. You're wonderful and I just want to say hello. And I will probably be back when like I actually am able to shop. Okay, that would but be great. Have a great show. Thank you. Oh, the card!
starting to film, you know, for our podcast. Oh, nice. In case you want to see the five seconds where I'm gushing over you. And look, <laughs> we're the Council of Comics. Okay. It's we are on Instagram and YouTube and other places apparently. Nice. Alright, we'll back around. Nick D not like others. Hated by the government, loved by mothers. Yeah. Undercovers, making them twist and shudder. As my tongue and lips discover how to love you the right way. Rubbing you light legs, she love to fight me. Rihanna, she bite me. Her male friends don't like me. But see, more they speak, the more they hype. Me. Comic book in her life. Until La Borigena. Until La Borigena. Especially as soon as we were doing Hurricane Relief, she was like, I bought four of them, one for me and one for each of my kids. Thank you so much for sharing that. That's so dope. Thank it's you. so awesome. Thank I you. And, and now, now, like, it never ends. I sent her stuff of, um... Take your time, Papa. Take oh, my God. Time. Her name is escaping me. Rosario. Ava Mendes. I sent her stuff of Ava Mendes. No, not Ava Mendes. Rosario. Rosario Dawson. Rosario Dawson. Right I'm there. just like, I keep sending her stuff of Rosario Dawson dressed as a boy. Like, hey, I'm like, yeah, no! Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like it's like all, now it's like a whole family thing because now everybody knows and there my sister and her family are in Ohio. It's like oh, everybody in Ohio is like what? I was actually in Ohio just uh, last semester. What part of Ohio? Uh, Cleveland. I was Cleveland. Okay. Cleveland. okay. Oh, talk. that's where her husband is from. I did a talk at the Cleveland Public Library. Oh, awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh my God, that's wonderful. We travel a lot. We're always done. Uh, I see your Instagram. You are traveling. Yeah. A lot. It's you know you got you got to get you got to get it out there. Thank you, thank you, thank you. But it's awesome. I will, I will try to come back. You guys have a great show. Oh, take our card for our podcast. The Council of Comics. You know, with, with, with actual with actual Puerto Ricans run, running running the podcast. Oh, for a second, I thought that's a reggaeton. No! Although he's a musician, it can happen. Thank you, thank you. I'll see you back. I'll see you guys soon. Thank you. Take care. In every text she typed me, she write me. And how she more than like me. I ain't I'm like, I'm here. I'm like, I love Mirka so much. And he's like walking away. I'm like, get back over oh, here. Thank you so much, so much. <laughs> thank you. How are you? Good. We just arrived two days ago. A little bit jet lag. Jet lag. I, I actually came last minute. His girlfriend got sick and transferred me the tickets. So we're just filming stuff for our podcast. Okay. So. It's great. How are you today? Good, good. How are good. you? Good. Like, wonderful. I love it. I actually got that, that Super Sons print from my ex-boyfriend, which, you know, his parents tell me is still hanging in their home. Okay. And the prices are not the good ones. I have to do them again. And, um, hey, so I love your work. We'll come back. Have time. a great show. You too. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, oh, and the card for our podcast. Oh, thanks. Thank, thank, thank you. Please take your card. Oh, yeah, absolutely. You're the best. Thank, thank you so you. much. Stay amor, me tiene loco I pray my God don't hold it against me Este amor me provoco I hold for a job just to hold it against me Este amor me tiene loco No need to talk about battle raps. No need to talk about your Cadillac. When the Reaper took your title back, you small change or you barely make a nickel, son. So how you gonna buy your pound of cane when your son's defeating off a dry nipple, son? The weather's warm rain and it make me stressed a little When the bullets make your body look like walls used for riffle So they left you crippled when you used to be cut and ripple Now you have the man you was paralyzed from the middle That's why I back a pistol, that's why I aim and never have to miss you And if I roll it, that's another issue I have the plastic surgeon choose my facial tissue I'm diving by by police officials with a gun full of drugs and missiles I'll take your name until I kill you and you and you and you and you too <laughs> But you might be the baddest Claim you nicest with the automatics But you never have to rap the rapper madness You whack rap backs and had it The streets are screaming for me like they an addict Cause you might be the baddest Claim you nicest with the automatics But you never have to rap the rapper madness You whack rap backs and had it The streets are screaming for me like they an addict 
I love my beautiful friend. Hey! Oh my god! <laughs> How are you? I'm well. It's been way too long. How have you been? Surviving. You know, I'm yeah. now a care. I'm now a care navigator. I've so I've switched my career again. <laughs> it is so good to see you. You too. This is Sam, my friend from our podcast. Hi, Sam. I've also switched to my fourth or fifth podcast now. <laughs> Final. Yeah, that's right. Sam's like, this is the one. <laughs> Jamal Eichel, who is amazing. Hi. <laughs> I, I have I have loved his work since Firestorm. Then, of course, with Supergirl. Then, of course, he created Molly Danger. You know him currently from the wrong earth, I would hope. And what other wonderful things are you working I'm on? I'm currently doing uh, Dudley Datsun and the Forever Machine. At yes, that's a comicsology exclusive. Yes. yes, that is so good. So, yes, that's my current project. One of my current projects. Yes. And I'm also teaching now. I'm, awesome. <laughs> so I'm teaching at School of Visual Arts. That's wonderful. I love it. <laughs> I love it. And you should. You're a great person. Oh, thank and you, you like have the right to meet a friend. Thank you. Um, take a card for the podcast. Okay. So you can be like, oh look, it's Cliff gushing over me. <laughs> Which, by the way, so one of my one of my favorite moments yeah. is we're at uh, what is now known as Terrific Con, right. and I'm like, and I'm gushing over the people at Artist Alley. I'm telling you about it, and then the two wrestlers come over. Oh my god! Right, oh, yeah. and then you're just like, oh my god! And I was like, I'm like, oh, this is hilarious because someone like was just here going, oh my god, I love your work, and you're like, oh my god, you guys are amazing. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah, I'm still a giant mark. Uh, <laughs> it's okay, and I'm going to pick this up from you. Oh, okay. Can you do that now? Yes. Too much. Go. Before, before I go crazy gushing all over you, here's a card for our podcast, The Council right. Comics. I wasn't going to be here today. His girlfriend got sick. She gave me her ticket. It's amazing. <laughs> Do you have your ash crab? Uh, it will arrive in a few hours, but it's here. So in other words, before I leave, come back. Okay. All right. Very good. Um, I'm really excited about that. I already pre-ordered all the covers, A, B, C, and D. Oh, wow. Thank you. And uh, I love the Iceman Digital. I hate digital comics, and I only got it for you, and it was amazing. Thank you so much. And, um, Hey, I mean, I'm following you all the time, so I love everything you're doing, and um, I'm going to come back for the cards later, too, because I like them. And uh, what are you working on currently? Uh, I... Nothing I can talk about. Nothing you can talk about! <laughs> but yeah, I just finished, like, uh, the, the Spider-Verse yep. that just came out this week. That was great. Uh, it just, it just came out this week. Um, Lennon's Terreno uh, in English for the first time. About. So wait, are you are co-creator for uh, Spinstress, right? Uh, not really. I mean, I, the, the character design is, isn't mine. Oh, okay. I design everyone else in the story, like all the villains. And all right, so it counts for something. All right, good, good, good. Uh, I love the issue. I love that the issue can be set to music. I thought that was fantastic. Yeah, it was incredible. It was so it is incredible. Uh, do you know if they're going to publish Iceman as a special? Uh, I'm really, really hoping for because I think it, uh, it's really worth it. I think it will really work well as a one shot. Uh, but yeah, I, I don't know if you've read all the clear reviews on it, but everybody was like, this is amazing. <laughs> Spider I mean, Iceman is being intimate with people. You know, there's, it's, you know, it's all there. <laughs> so yeah, I love this. I think it was fantastic. Well, thank you. All right, so I'll be back later. Thank you. Have a wonderful show. We are coming back. I'm not leaving here. <laughs> this right here is Oakless. It's a sci-fi martial art action-packed comic book series written and drawn by that man right there, TJ Sterling. It's about this young man named Kale, who is also this guy right here. He's got these awesome superhuman abilities that he uses to help save the world from these post-apocalyptic monsters that you see right here. And these four warriors who are trying to hunt him down, kill him, and take his powers and use them for their own evil purposes. This right here is a volume of the, all six issues that we got. We also have a backstory as to how he got his powers. This is called Open Mist Dark History. It's about his father. And it gives you a better insight to the current story that we got going on. So, this is 
again, this is all written and drawn by this young man right here, TJ Sterling. This company's name is Ray Comics. If you're interested, we also got social media right over here where you can follow us. Where you will see all of this. <laughs> more handsome every show I see you. Like I haven't seen you since 2017. I'm like you're somehow better looking. 2017, yeah. I've been working on it. I, I enjoy outdoor stuff more, biking and working out. So yeah. it's wonderful. Oh, I'm trying. If you can get our picture, please. Yes, that's okay. Thank you so much. Thank you. I wasn't even supposed to be here today. What? What happened? His girlfriend got sick and transferred the ticket. Well, that sucks, but it's great at the same time, right? All right, here we go. One, two, three. Take off the mask all the way. You might as well. One, two, three. Thank you very much. Much appreciated. Yeah. Keep up all the fabulous work. Uh, I'll do my best. What? The card. Look at that. Oh, the card. Oh, jeez. So you can see me gushing all over you on our YouTube channel. So please enjoy oh. our card. Which, by the way, hence me filling in for the girlfriend. Uh, awesome. <laughs> nice. How are you doing? Okay, guys. You gotta watch where you're recording, bro. What's going on, bro? Yo, I don't see your mask on. Got a couple of books. Uh -huh. Checking out some puzzles. What you guys, you saw anything? Uh, <laughs> you good? No, we just walked around. Yeah, I'm good. Got a couple of slight interviews. Oh, that's cool. Chris so, Claremont. Who's that? 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 Some of these boots, I can't find them. Well, oh, this is our no, no, but no, no, I know. I, I was looking the for eight billion jeans. See that? Yeah, it's all sold. In. I didn't, I didn't, I couldn't get over there. The line's too crazy. Man. I don't like that far right from me. I decided I don't like it. I'm waiting in line is fuck it. I don't even look that bad, man. I mean, I I'm waited in line for Ryan Atlas. It was like this big of a line. It was perfect. I'm trying to find comics elite. I can't find them. They tell me 36 something, I'm looking around. 36 something is on the, is on the. No, I yeah. can't find them. It, I, I can't find them. Hmm. Well, I got a, I got breathe, a, have I got a little a, water, go back in there. I got a cracked slab, I got to turn this shit in for them to fix it. I can't find anybody, man. This fucking place is pandemonium, man. Hmm. I prefer Mohegan Sun, for real. You can't turn the slab in over there? I'm not fucking with that. No? They're gonna take it out, probably try to regrade the shit and fuck give me a bullshit grade. <laughs> I said, just replace it, bro. You sent me the slab, it was cracked. Yeah. Give me a new slab. Take the same label, put it in a new slab. That's it. If you gonna fuck around, take my 9.8, turn that shit into a 9.6. Oh man. That's it. It'll be over. Lights out. We'll burn the place down. This fucking bag is heavy, this shit hurts, man. I'm gonna come back Saturday, I'm bringing this bag. I just carry shit like this, man. That's a good bag, though. Yeah, this is cool. How you doing? Good, how are you? Good. My name's Sam. I'm from the Council of Comics. We got a, cool. a YouTube channel. Um, I would like... This is the exclusive, right? Yeah, that's the foil one. How much is this? 50. Yeah, can I get the foil one? And I want two signatures on that. You have no idea. No, if you buy it here, you can give me Oh, you have no idea how he talks about your book like every week at the show. Every week. <laughs> yes, yes. I said, hey, let me try this. This is pretty freaking good. I'm glad you like it. That's awesome. Best friend in the world. I appreciate it. Yeah, man. Uh, uh, to see it, I don't know if it's ever going to be a show, but to on see it. that in a show might be pretty wild. Oh no, I'm looking for
forward to it, man. Pretty good. I missed out on the first issue. So then I was like, all right, let me get the second print. And then I read one through five, like, all in one shot. And I was blown away. <laughs> all right. Oh, I man. was blown away. Issue six is excellent. Yeah? Yeah, it's really, really interesting. Excellent. So, excellent. I unfortunately will be picking up the train because I showed up too late. <laughs> yeah, that, that definitely is a problem. It, it happened to a lot of people. And yeah. It sold out really fast. So. Yeah. Cool. It's good, man. It's good. Yep. Keep it up, Thank bro. You. Yes. Keep it up. Thank but, you. Thank you so much. Yeah, bye, guys. Bye bye. Trying to place the characters. Oh, critical, role. Critical, role. critical role. Critical role. Yeah. Oh, you're from the latest critical role. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Very good. I'm like sitting here. I'm like, it looks <laughs> great. You're doing amazing work. Thank you. I'm trying to remember the characters. Would you I'm, like to? Would you like to say it to Pate Del Rolo? Hello. I'm Pate Del Rolo. Hello. <laughs> By the way, I love that character because. She like is like the one that like physically is like, oh my god, what are you? <laughs> but it's like, I want to play with the children. That was me walking down the street today to Grand Central. I was walking down the street, people were like, oh, what is that? I can just like put on some speed. Hello. <laughs> I love it. Guys, Thank you. enjoy your show. Thank you. Enjoy your enjoy the big show. What am I saying? <laughs> but you look amazing. In the beginning, the life of the universe created the heavens and the earth. And the earth was void and without form And the spirit hovered over the waters Melting the ice And a voice from beyond said Let there be light First I was born of water Sunfire fiercely forged my skin As I take air into these lungs Touch the earth, the elemental 
year after my father passed away. Oh my god, yes. 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 yes! the big cheese! Yes. How you been? I haven't seen you in since before the blip. 2017. Oh, that's, that's, Truly that's the blip. That, that was the year my father passed away. I know! <laughs> I, I love how we're united in tragedy. <laughs> Real Terry! Superheroes. Real Terry! Superheroes. <laughs> Terry! Oh, hey, hey! I, I hear yell. I'm like, I'm like, who's this man yell? Oh, hey, hey! Cliff, how you been? I'm good, how are you? Man, long time no see. I know. Hey, look, it's Cliff. I got a ticket. I got a ticket. There it is. <laughs> this is Sam from, Hi, Sam from my latest and greatest podcast, so the Council of Comics. Oh, hell yeah. I love it. I like I keep I keep going from one to the he's yeah. Smith. He's like this will be the last one. Right, he's right. like Oz Oz is ride or die. And right, I'm like, yeah. okay, okay. Right. I love it. I fucking love it. I love it. I'm so happy to see you guys. He, he was like, what's wrong with you? And I'm like, 3185! Right. 3185! <laughs> follow me! And he's like, what are we doing? <laughs> ah! It's a family reunion! It is. I'm so So he's like, he's like, oh, so I want this to put both of you sign it. And he's like, yeah, he goes, there's no fee because you're buying the book from me directly. And so they just signed it and it was like, it was just great. Um, they did have a signature series witness there oh. with like a bag and like a coupon. So if you wanted that, yes, they take, take it. it from you, bag the whole thing up. They charge you 25 bucks on the spot, give that baggie to you. You take the bag to CGC and then pay another 50 yes. or 60 to CGC. So much. It's, but the fact is, the convenience, the too convenience. Much, too much stuff to do. The, the convenience about, was good, well, in my opinion. About that, the reason they did that, I think, with the bag, is that if you tamper with that bag, though, God forbid that bag pop open. I was here at another con, and one of the guys from CGC actually, for the first time, did my bag. And he was like, they better not be tamper-proof. He was <laughs> <laughs> So, yeah. 
Yeah, because it was like, you know, what if it pops open? I was like, yeah. it validates. Yeah. But the point, well, I know, but like you're here and CC so is like up here. Yeah, you just walk My it over. Point. But now you know where to be found. Man. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Where'd you go? You used to keep me out of trouble, man. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Why you leaving stuff with all these suckers there? Yeah, you know. Yeah, you know. Yeah, you know. I'ma hold it down for you, man. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Where'd you go? I'm just trying to stay true. Yeah, I, man, I'm, I'm happy to come. Oh, this this is our guy from the store. This is our videographer, <laughs> uh, Council of Comics. This is the these guys up, are man? the best. The family. Hey, Jamie Tyndall. Oh, Hello. how you doing, Hi, nice sir? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Guys. You must be the best because the way he talks to you. Yeah, cause this guy, <laughs> yo, he out, man, out every I morning. It, man. I appreciate it. Mm -hmm. Every every other retailer, it's always a big nice conversation. You know. Well, and the guy who owns her local chef, but you, lovely. I'm a leak that this, this, that, this, that. Well, what's his name? Kyle, not Kevin. Yeah, yeah. Kick him in his ass one day, but yeah. you know, it is what it is. Yeah. You in New York now. That's right. Woo woo! That's Call why the boys. Is. <laughs> Call the boys on his ass. Yeah, he don't, he don't come. He yeah. Come here to the big city. Yo, yeah. I'm happy to meet you. I appreciate that, man. That means a lot. Oh my God, For another real. Batman 125 cover. Yeah, but that's the, that's, that's the, uh, Sudan, uh, Mike Nichols Sudan. Like this, said to come back quick with some hot hits. Now these lame ass rappers have got my script. My script, my script, my script. Where did you go? Why did you leave? Is it cause your last name's hot? They claiming that they left the bullet in your hip. Was that it? Now if it bleeds the court, I got a story to tell. Dear mama, I become a dream shatterer. Living flamboyant. Hey, it's dirty, but I know baby got my money. Don't sweat the technique, go what you heard. I'm Clifford, this is my friend Sam. Hello Sam. How are you doing? Let's uh... I want our picture. Because now I gotta like gush with you. Alright, She-Hulk, The Retreat. Amazing. Amazing. And like... I don't know how much heavy lifting you knew you had to do, or didn't know you had to do, or what you were doing, or they're like, here, just write this episode of She-Hulk. I don't know the deal. But it was great! I love that. I binged Supermansion this summer. Oh, wow. Amazing. Thank you. What did you, like, oh. you watch it on Prime? On Prime. I'm like, oh my god, you had Chris Pine in this? Yeah. And he did so a great job. He did an He's amazing incredible. job. I was like, holy crap. Yeah. So you have written some fantastic stuff, and then I've been tripping on Amazing Spider-Man, to be honest with you. But that Gwen issue, that Gwen issue was oh amazing, that was one of the amazing. Of the in like years. You don't understand the whole comic shop. We're like, oh my god. We're reading, we're reading the whole series from like one and I was like, where, where's this going? Yeah. Where's this going? Hey, we're like, and then boom. <laughs> Yes, awesome. everyone. The whole shop was like, oh my god! And it's a crossover. You expect like the lowest level yeah, for a crossover. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you're like, nope, chisel, hard. Bam. <laughs> was that something you had to like work into that? Like they came to you and said, we got yeah, this crossover, yeah. did you do that? Or? Uh, you know, Kieran uh, Gillen sent out a document that was telling us about the crossover and what would be going on. And he, it was a really good document. It said like all the different things we could do, and and so I just chose uh, we chose Gwen because we thought like people might be expecting it to be Uncle Ben, you know. So we wanted to, to flip it, and so we chose Gwen, and it just once I got in there, it just seemed to write itself. It was one of those really fun ones that just a lot of ideas. Uh, started that was really her for a couple of seconds. For a couple of seconds, yeah. Oh my god! <laughs> <So> <laughs> just a couple seconds. It was just just a weird couple yeah, seconds, yeah. man. But it was so good, like, like 
you know how every once in a while there's that comic everyone in the comic shop talks about? Yeah, yeah. You did it, man. Oh, I love this it. was your week where we were like, oh, it. yes. Okay, listen, when I close the book, you can see like a little side <laughs> like, That was one of the one greatest I've ever had. Oh, thanks, man. Yeah. So, like, when I knew you were going to be here, I was out of my mind because I was like, I got to talk She Hulk. I got to talk to you on <laughs> Super Mansion. Oh, my, I got to tell you how amazing Spider Man suddenly became, like, super phenomenal. <laughs> In my, so now I'm like, yeah, I'm bringing the hell out of this. You need a receipt? Yes. Is the Check next screen. issue a tie-in with Judgment Day 2? No, next issue is uh, Johnny's back, and we're doing the Hobgoblin stuff. So we're never going to see uh, Norman. 4891. Norman. 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 go. Uh, and well, Norman's also got a, uh, a mini series coming out. Okay. Where that it'll, that will be picked up as well. So. All right. So okay. yeah, that'll be picked up. Don't that worry. Was an extra whammo. Don't that worry is, about that. Well, here, yeah. one question. Is this Norman and Gwen, like, hey, I killed you? Or is this Norman and Gwen, like, oh, we got those secret love children out there? No, no, no. Thank no God. Thank about that God. <laughs> Thank you, God. <laughs> I prefer Norman and Gwen, hey, I killed you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right, a pleasure. All right, Thank great you so meeting much. you guys. Hello again. And this time in, in New York and not in Canada. Absolutely. This is my friend Sam. Hello. Who is with our, our with our, with the podcast. So I might as well give you the card. Okay. But most importantly, he's the one who will not shut up about Amber Nightstone. Oh, cool. Amber Nightstone. He's like it's a he's like it's a million dollar idea. I love it. Listen, I don't read the art stuff as soon as I saw that cover and all that. I said she's a big one. Well, so far so good. Yeah, she seems to be making a real positive uh, arc at Archie. So. He is, what, that's like the first Archie comic you've bought in what? Ever? Ever. Uh, Ever. Okay. Like he would, like I've never, it was so funny because we're going through the new comics and we're talking about what's coming out this week and he's like, that name is amazing. He's like, this no, book is amazing. Like, Every Amber other Knight's Archie book is like, eh. You know, but like, he's like, eh, my Stone. Oh, that's great. I appreciate that. No so problem. I am so glad. All right, enjoy your show. I'll be back. And I'm trying not to lose my head. This life is sticky, shifty, low down, grimy and gritty, but. Trying to stay true out here, man. <laughs> Whatever happens to the good old times, good songs, you know what I mean? Y'all remember this one? You know the one that goes self-destruction, self-destruction. You're headed for self-destruction. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I remember that. Fight the power. Yeah, yeah. You gotta fight the powers that be. Oh, fight the power. Yeah, yeah. You gotta fight the power. Although, every time I mentioned you, I was like, but did you see his Deadpool? Did you see his Deadpool? Did you see his Deadpool? Look, here's a whole stack of Deadpool. Well, I didn't get to do nearly as much Hercules as I wanted. I love working on that series, but, you know. Incredible Hercules was great. And for, a, and for a substitute Hulk book, right? Like, it was really fantastic. I, they got, like, 50 issues at least, and then, like, you know, a bunch of other series out of it. It really did pretty well. So, I thought it was great. And it was, it's very entertaining. And it, you got two, two volumes out of it, so I think and it was pretty You saw the newest horror movie, right? I, I mean, right? Yeah. You should be like, look at my stuff! I'm Printed Marvel! I mean, it'd be great if they, like, you know, because if the Thor movies stay as silly as they are, they've got to do the Thor movie storyline, right? That would be awesome. Even if they course correct a little bit. Well, even if, like. Hercules is an exciting character to yeah. include. By the way, this is, I don't want to be rude. That's my friend Sam. Sam? For the nice for, for, for for my for my for my latest, and I swear I'm not going to give this podcast podcast up. YouTube audience, this is YouTube. Yeah, all the time, all the time. The column full of comments. Um, but but like okay, so this is my pitch to Kevin Feige if you see it. So uh, Chris Hemsworth retires. He's done like a million Thor movies. He's sick of that shit. You got the the 
you have Hercules take over Thor series the way he took over Her uh, Hulk series in the comic, but you have him dress up like Thor, just like in our storyline. That would be amazing. <laughs> that's, that's great. You're like, just let him do it. Just let him. Well, he's got his own mace and everything. Yeah. Like, I, the, like, the way they treated Thor in the Marvel movies, they pretty much were just writing him as Hercules. Yeah. Where he's like kind of the big dumb only, guy. Only the last two. I, as much as I actually enjoyed the last one, I think the biggest mistake was to make Thor the joke rather than the joke being that Thor is the outsider. The first two movies focus the jokes on Thor being the outsider. Ragnarok, it starts to turn. I, I thought, I love Ragnarok the like half. Like, half of it is the best movie they've ever made. The other half is just kind of like, eh, we're supposed to do this hella shit, so we're going to throw that in there. But I think I, she's great! She was, but like, I just, they did not sell me on the fact that she was able to like, kill all the Asgardians, or all like the badass, like, they just didn't sell, like, she should not have won that easy. Well, know? her sword is supposed to also be a necro sword. Whatever. But There's then, like, like they never, ask, they like, never talked like about. Wakes out this entire planet full of like Viking guys. Like, come on. And well, then, she's the goddess of death. What are we supposed to believe? She should have, like, she's more effective than Thanos in one movie, and it took Thanos like 20 movies. Like, I just, they just didn't sell. What? Just because Thanos is a slow burn character? <laughs> well, he took at least two movies in this movie. Right. But you know, he wants to work this way. He sold me on how powerful and scary he was. It was her. But that was that's only one great. The other is like we're saying, where like every time he pulls his hammer, more or less, like every time he does something cool, he like does a crack ball, you know. And I wish that just that's the way you want to be in the movie. Fine. But the last time he does it, when he finally pulls the hammer up and summons down the thunder and is like at, at his full strength. He should have been at his full strength. They, they should have gone for the gag after that, you know? He should have had the one heroic moment to kind of like sum the movie up. And they like, and so it's kind of, ugh, did the, the joke again. And then, Which, yeah, and I mean, that was what I, like, I liked a lot of parts of it. I just found it really, like, just a black focus to me. You know, it was just kind of all over the place. I, I, found, I found a greater lack of focus in this one, even though I still enjoyed it very much because I'm super happy to see Jane Foster. Yeah, yeah. well I thought, I loved her, I think she did, and uh, I, you know, like... At, at, I, least, at least her her sacrifice, her ending, at least that was very sincere, yeah. and like, they just let us have that. I, I thought the bad guy was great. Uh, I mean, Hemsworth was just great no matter what you have to do. But also, I mean, a lot of it, it felt like a comedy, but it wasn't really funny, you know? Yeah. Like, I wish it was funnier. If it was going to be a comedy, I needed better jokes. Right, in the meantime, yeah. I agree with most people. We're like, maybe it didn't need to be so funny. Maybe we could just spend more time with the villain. Well, or that. I mean, I, I'm kind of just like... It didn't seem to commit right? one if way or want, the other. If you want to do the comedy, do the comedy. But, like, make it funny. Or, if you, or like, you know, Ragnarok work, even with Thor being funny, because there were serious aspects, you know, the whole, it wasn't like a goofy guy in a goofy world, like, there were several goofy characters in an otherwise serious world, and so, like, when, you know, Hulk is, like, smashing everybody, they're really smashed, they're fucked up, you know, like, you get that, like, there are consequences to nonsense, you know, I yeah. think that's a good thing. I'm looking forward to so much million potential good thing. so I'm pretty excited. Come, come, yes. come, come, come. Oh, right <laughs> Made it. So we just finished Comic-Con, NYCC 2022. Thank you guys for joining. Remember to like and subscribe. We'll see you guys later. Peace.